Good morning. The roadways are off to a great start for the Tuesday drive. No crashes and stalls to report. 85 is delay-free. 400 is a quick ride all the way down. 316 is also delay-free, and 985 is clear. Checking the side streets, 129 is wide open. Same story for Highway 20. No brake lights on 441. Browns Bridge Road and Dawsonville Highway are clear coming out of Gainesville, and the rest of the side streets in Hall, Gwinnett, Forsyth, and Dawson counties are clear. More traffic in less than 15 minutes for North Georgia's News Talk, WDUN. The freeways and side streets are quiet to start off the Tuesday drive. No crashes and stalls being worked. Not many delays either. 85 is wide open from 129 through the 985 merge and continuing down to Spaghetti Junction. 400 is all clear from Browns Bridge to North Ridge Road. 316 only seeing a small delay at Collins Hill. You're used to that one. And the rest is clear from Harbin's Road to Boggs Road. 985 is delay free with no slow spots on the side streets in Hall, Banks, and Jackson counties. More traffic in less than 15 minutes from North Georgia's News Talk, WDUN. Good going so far for the freeways and side streets. Everything's moving along pretty quickly. 85, 400, 316, and 985 are all free and clear. No problems reported at the moment. Looking at the side streets, 129 is clear from Gainesville to Pendergrass. Highway 20 is a smooth ride from 400 to 316. Highway 60 is looking good from Gainesville to Forsyth. Same story on Browns Bridge Road and Dawsonville Highway. The remaining side streets in Hall, Dawson, and Lumpkin counties are clear. More traffic in less than 15 minutes from North Georgia's News Talk, WDUN. We have an accident just reported in Forsyth County. That's on Keith Bridge Road and Martin Road. That's reportedly blocking traffic, so watch out there. Looking at the freeways now, we have the first signs of volume forming on 85 southbound at Buford Highway. And then on 316, along with the normal volume at Collins Hill, we also have some volume forming at Riverside Parkway and Sugarloaf Parkway as well. Don't forget you can be a WDUN traffic trooper by calling 770-535-2911 if you see a traffic problem. I'm Bailey Plus, WDUN Traffic. Updating that problem in Forsyth County, a crash on Keith Bridge Road and Martin Road is causing partial blockages. A wrecker's on the way to clear that now. In the meantime, expect delays there. On the freeways, your trip time for 400 from McFarland Road to the perimeter is 27 minutes. 985 from 129 to Lawrenceville Swanee Road is looking at 20 minutes as normal. 85 from Old Peachtree Road to the perimeter is a 22-minute drive. And Winder Highway to Beaver Ruin should take about 31 minutes. More traffic in less than 15 minutes from North Georgia's News Talk, WDUN.